In 1799, a 22-year-old Welshman called Robert Owen bought this place, New Lanark, from his father-in-law, David Dale. While all around, life and work in Britain were hard and squalid, here in the Lanarkshire countryside, Owen set about creating a pocket of utopia. Robert Owen developed the principles he would put into practice here at New Lanark while managing a mill in Manchester, aged just 19. Owen believed that a person's character was down to the circumstances around them. Change those circumstances through education and better working conditions and you would change the individual. Change the individual and you would change society. Jane, education was at the centre of, of Robert Owen's belief system. How did that work here practically in terms of the buildings around us, you know, who went into which kind of school? Children were sent to a junior school where they received a very varied curriculum, which is not unlike our curriculum today. They were really finding out things that other children across the country wouldn't have understood. We have a record in one of the um, finance books for New Lanark of uh, so much money paid for an exhibit of a crocodile uh, to teach the children about exotic animals. The classroom was filled with murals. It had a globe to teach them about geography. And they had simple uniforms made of New Lanark cotton, which gave them freedom of movement to do things like singing and, and dancing within the class. This is an exercise um, book by a child who attended yeah. New Lanark School. Yeah. Incredibly neat and their mathematics are obviously better than mine would be yeah, because it yeah. looks, it's always amazing when you look at something in the past, how complicated what yeah. they're learning is. There's uh, a, a startling lack of red ink as well, isn't there? Well. Of teachers saying, not, you know, see me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know if they had red in the ink then. But well, that's very true. <laughs> I mean, this is quite complicated mathematics they're learning, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's amazing. interestingly about money and business here as well, so. Well, I never even thought about that. You're yeah. absolutely right, it is using that. Yeah. In a practical sense? Yeah, a world that they're very aware of. You know, it's not just difficult examples of things they've yeah. never encountered. They're uh -huh. very aware of what was going on in the business. As a woman that does a lot of family history, there are um, birth records for the children in the 1820s and 1830s. We also have other records in terms of like the school record. I'm sure it would be possible to actually pick out some of the children and just look, perhaps in a census or something, to see what they actually did with their lives. And that would be quite an interesting project to do. Working life at New Lanark was far better than mills across the country. Robert Owen firstly shortened the length of the working day to only 10 hours and this allowed for his workers to then go to leisure activities in the institute and have some time to learn and enjoy themselves and he felt that that was very important. One of the most important things that he did in terms of the workplace was abolish uh, the practice of employing orphans and very young children within the mills. Um, previously and in other mills around the country, children as young as four and five would be employed to pick up cotton from underneath the machines and do menial tasks like that. And Owen did away with this and all children had to go to education until they were at least 10 years old. Um, although the workplace conditions at New Lanark were good, it was still a cotton mill and it was still a an essentially unhealthy environment. So he um, wanted to make sure that the houses were clean and healthy to live in and that his workers had access to the great outdoors. He offered workers the chance to pay a percentage of their wages into um, a healthcare fund so that if they were unable to work they could draw on this fund to support themselves. So almost like a very early NHS. And we started to see the general good health and longer life expectancy of the villagers within New Lanark, these, these benefits were creeping through. Mm -hmm.